All right, guys. Well, today is September 15th. Heading out for the evening sit. We sat this morning, shot a uh, doe. New Jersey is a Erna doe or Erna buck uh, state. So early season bow, you have to shoot a doe before you can hunt a buck. So uh, today uh, got the doe down in the morning. Now it's time to hopefully go after this buck that we've been seeing out here. Got tons of footage, a couple nice deer, which I'll go over later. But uh, right now we got to hurry up and get out there. Gonna hunt out of the saddle tonight on the beans. And hopefully the plan comes together. Stay tuned guys, we're gonna ride the e-bike over there. difficulties getting up this tree uh, it's a pretty uh, funky tree but uh, long story short where we're hunting right now we're on a very thin hedgerow that runs parallel to a soybean field right out in front of us here and we got thick uh, bedding in our power in the power lines to our right here so we're, uh, there's not much of a tree selection so we kind of had to make do but uh, anyway we got a northeast wind which is almost perfect for this spot um, as far as what we're after tonight we have a bunch of shooters on camera and a bunch that I've seen glass in these soybean fields and we got this spot to our right where they've been almost funneling out every night uh, does and bucks I seen one of our number one target bucks uh, we call him the unicorn the unicorn 11 He's a nice big 11 pointer. He's got a brow tie that comes straight out in front of him. Uh, it's very uh, distinctive, at least right now when he's in velvet. Uh, he came out in this corner last week uh, around 6, 6.30. Um, so we'll see, hopefully he shows up. We have another really wide mainframe eight pointer. We call him Big Earl. Uh, Big Earl has been in these uh, soybeans a lot in the summer. I haven't seen him a ton recently. I did see him across the street the other day. But uh, yeah, like I said, we got we got plenty of shooters here, so we'll see what happens, but hopefully Big Earl or the Unicorn 11 shows up. So stay tuned and uh, hopefully we can see some deer tonight.
Hi right, guys, it's uh, September 20th. We just had that small uh, six or seven pointer and a doe, a decent sized doe come in. And uh, they were heading downwind of me. Um, I figured I needed some more meat in the freezer for my first doe. Uh, took the shot, it looked about 25-ish yards. Uh, shot looked good. She took off running, crashing. I thought I heard a crash out front of us, so we're gonna sit till dark, get down, and uh, hopefully find this deer. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so we got down from the tree, had uh, found blood pretty quick. I thought the arrow passed through, but it, I guess it didn't. Um, tracked it for about 70 yards and we found her. So uh, we just I just drug her out to the road, to the dirt road. I'm gonna grab in the, jump in the side by side and take off, head over there and go pick her up. Alright guys, we got her in the bed of the truck. I just want to kind of show you. Entrance wound is right there. She was hard quartering away. Went through the back of the ribcage, came all the way through, and almost punched through the front shoulder. It was a good shot. Worked out. She only ran about 70 yards, and uh, we got her down. So that's two does to start the season off. Um, now it's time to go get our buck. Uh, so far they disappeared, but we'll see. Hopefully they uh, show back up shortly. And uh, yeah. Well, anyway, it's been a good uh, start to the season already. Hope you guys enjoyed the hunt. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.